So, uh, why didn't you come? So, uh, why didn't you come? Where have you been for the past two months? We did come. One night early. That was our mistake. You could have also listened to the policeman. Oh, we get now what happened to them. Nice. You done to Max. Shut up. You can't just shut up. This is an interrogation. I ask, you answer. <clears throat> Name. Laura Kearney. Who are you traveling with? And what is your relationship? Max Brindley, he's my boyfriend. Where were you headed last night? To Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. You already know this. What have you done with Max? No. I ask, you answer. That's how this works. Fine. What do you want to know? Oh. Well. Uh, why are we going to hack his quarry last night? Max and I are camp counselors. Oh, bullshit. Counselors aren't due until today. I told you, we drove up and got there early. We figured we'd just go to camp. Why didn't you go to the motel like I told you? Because we were, like, way closer to the camp, and we're broke. Mm-hmm. Okay, Sheriff. Hack it. Wait, hack it? Like, Chris hack it? Don't change the subject. What the fuck is going on here, man? Don't lose your patience. You have no I'm, idea what's going on here. I'm compliant. Not a goddamn clue. You just stepped in some grade A double prime, go ahead and kill yourself cosmic type shit, young lady. And your only option is to buckle the fuck up and do what I say. I'm doing it. Do you understand? It. Just... 
stop trying to intimidate me and tell me what the fuck is going on. Is, is Max alive? I feel like I'm going crazy. What? Let's go. Hey. Hey, you asshole. You want to tell us what the fuck's going on? Max! I know you hear me. Okay? Yeah. I mean, I'm... I'm kind of all mixed up, but... More or less intact, I think. Laura? Yeah? Why am I naked? What? I mean, after we got attacked... The next thing I know, I'm waking up in a jail cell and you're gone. And now you're back again, and, and, and I'm super naked, and there's blood and stuff everywhere. I mean, what the fuck happened? I was kind of hoping you could tell me what happened. I feel like I remember bits and pieces, but none of it makes any sense. Yeah, same. I, I feel like... Were we drugged? I feel like maybe we were drugged. By a cop? Do they do that? Who does this guy think he is? Well, Sheriff of North Kill, apparently. North Kill? Yeah. Max! What? Did you even look at the map? Hackett's Quarry in North Kill. That's the town. Oh. And it gets better. I gotta look at his name badge, and... Get dressed. What's he giving you? Not gonna be the guest of honor at Fashion Week, I'll tell you that much. Hey! Did I say you could talk to each other? <sighs> this one is a bit harder now. I, I mean... Let's be honest here... He is on the longer side of the lever. So, I don't think that being snappy and ready and all that does help us in any way. So... I, of course I don't like the treatment, but this is not a normal situation here. Um, stuff is going on and he seems to know about the whole deal. Or at least to some degree. And I do feel that Laura is, when we think back to the beginning of the game, is I, I played her very compliant back then and I will keep that up simply because I thinks she is uh, the more calmer and rational one when it comes to her and or Max. And yeah. So 
as long and 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 she mean uh, and, and and I mean she is in the present uh with the hunters I guess and she seems to know more now so I don't see a reason why to be not compliant here actually Sorry, sir. We'll be quiet. We will? Max? Hey, what'd you do with my real girlfriend? <laughs> Alright, buddy. Hands through the bars. Come on. Your turn. Let's go. I'm not going anywhere. We can talk right here. Come on. Hey. Hey. Let's get go. the fuck off. Come on. Move. Good boy. Hey. Stop struggling. Max, calm down. You're only making it worse. Laura. I'm sorry, Max, but it is. What the hell did you do to her? Shut up. Okay. Okay. Think, Laura, think. There's gotta be something in here you can use. While the town of North Kill lay there sleeping, the hag in the woods started weeping. As the bodies decay, the wolves hunt their prey, and the sheriff continues his creeping. Squad Limerick. Uh, this doesn't paint a particularly favorable picture of Sheriff Hackett, and perhaps this isn't the first time he has locked someone up illegally. And yeah, of course he did lock us lock us lock us up illegally we we don't have to talk about that but i consider but i also take in the uh, but i also consider the point of there are werewolves are running around and not only one uh, i mean of course we know that uh, we as a player know uh, that max is also one now um and I think well, I'm thinking about Big Boy. He is a werewolf hunter and he has his reason more like Gramps. And of course, Sheriff Hackett is creepy. We don't need to talk about that. Um, and he is that kind of cop you you see in 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 a movie from the eighties, uh, which wears a shit <laughs> back then. But uh, for me, I'm not from the eighties. I can tell you that. Um, I think they're they're super over the top. But hey, that that was the media back then. Um, and maybe some uh, who are born in in. Uh, in, in, in like 2010, 20, uh, 20 or anything like that, um, are like thinking about movies from the late 90s, early 90s, that, that era, also like uh, they're over the top, and but but you get the point I want I want to make with uh, Sheriff Hackett here, and. So I, I at least want to think that he has his reasons to do that and still you, you can't think about the, the whole protocol and all that when it comes to werewolves. <laughs> uh, simple as that. The, the, these are supernatural causes here. And 
I don't think, I still don't think that it is white, but like I already said, he is in this situation on the longer side of the lever. So, yeah. Let's just try to work with him and not against him. Ew. Spoon? Sort of lever. Like the spoon? Watch it, man. I bruise easily. Give me a break. Hey, the second we get out of here, you're toast, motherfucker. Sure. Second you get out. Wait, wait, well... Answer your questions. You just can't lock us up in here with no goddamn explanation and expect us to be all butter and cupcakes, okay? Just work with us here. You have nothing to bargain with. Come on. Come on! <laughs> hey, you can't just leave us in here! Hey! Come back! Are you okay? It's just a foot. It'll heal. I meant the interrogation. Oh. Yeah. Can't break old Max. Many have tried, many have failed. I'm being serious, Max. He, uh... He just asked a lot of questions. A lot of weirdly specific questions about us and where we were going and why and how I was feeling this morning and I don't know. Nothing I said made him seem any less annoyed. He asked how you were feeling? Yeah. Why, he didn't ask you? No. Huh. Rude. Oh, hey, did you get a look at his name badge? You mean it's not really Detective Dick Whippet? It's Hackett. Sheriff Hackett. You think he's related to Chris Hackett? Oh my god, like THE Chris Hackett? Yeah, 
Who's the Chris Hackett? As in camp leader, Mr. Hackett of Hackett's Quarry, remember? Man. Last night feels like a lifetime ago. The fuck does that mean, though? You know? Where we set up? Maybe it's some kind of crazy camp counselor kidnapping ring. That's... I mean... What? Well, I guess Sheriff Hackett's not exactly acting like a typical kidnapper, but... He's not acting like a typical cop, either. Well, how do you know how kidnappers act? I'm just trying to get us out of here, and I can't get us out of here until I have some clue of why that the fuck we're in here. I don't know. What if we can't make sense of it? What? Well, you we have to. Sometimes things just don't make sense. What then? We're just stuck in a backwater jail cell for the rest of our lives? This isn't forever, Max. You, you can't just hold us here forever. You didn't seem too convinced of that. You gotta stay positive. You can't think like that. Why not? Might as well just accept it, right? No, fuck that. Think about the rest of the summer, Max. And school? I mean, I've been dreaming about becoming a vet since I was five years old. I'm not gonna let this fleabag fuckface stop me. We're gonna get out of here. I'm gonna study to be a vet, and you're... gonna... um... What? I'm gonna what? I saw the letter, Max. What are you talking about? The rejection letter for college. I found it in your bag. You were poking around in my stuff? I can't believe you didn't tell me. I was embarrassed. The, your grades were good, and you wrote a great essay? Yeah, apparently not good enough. Fuck! You've been making plans, Max. What the fuck? I don't know. What do you want me to say? I'm sorry, Max. This... this really sucks. Hey, it's not the worst thing to happen this summer. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have kept it from you. You know you can talk to me about anything, right? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Okay, let's just focus on getting out of here for now. Great, sign me up. We need to go over it from the beginning. Like from when we left home? Like from when we ran into the cop. So after we ran into the... Whatever we ran into? Yeah. Actually, yeah, that's when shit started getting weird. The dude acted super weird when we said we almost hit an animal, you remember that? It was like he already knew or something. Yeah. Yeah, that was really sketchy. What if he's not even a real cop? Well, he's gotta be dirty, but... I mean, I think he's a real cop. We're in a police station. I mean, yeah, but there's like... nobody else around. Yeah, that is concerning. Especially the whole hack it hack it thing. Let's just go with the idea that they're both in on it. Okay. So we're supposed to meet Chris Hackett at the camp, and instead, there's nobody there, and we get attacked by something, and then the cop shows up. That part's all fuzzy for me. Like, I, I remember the steps and a smell like wet fur and a, a dog collar with the name Ian on it. Ian? 
Ian. I don't think it was a dog that attacked us. Whatever it was, was big. Like, person-sized big. Yeah, it really did a number on you. Like, I'm surprised you're not more messed up. Like, like, like I vividly remember the thing's teeth ripping into you. What is messed up about that is... Laura, I don't have a scratch on me. What? Hey, okay, so weird question. Do you remember... before we got lost? You got lost? Well, yeah, but before that, I was all like, whoa, look at the moon. It's so big, so cool to see a full moon in the middle of the woods, and you were all like, yeah, no shit, Max, it happens once a month? Yeah, so? Right, so, you know, full moon. Yeah? What if, uh... Okay, no, stop. I'm just saying, you know, maybe there's a slight chance it was a werewolf. Are you out of Goddamn mine? Werewolves? Seriously? What the fuck? Werewolves? Seriously? What the fuck? What? 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 What's so funny? I said literally the exact same thing. Okay, do you, you got anything better? I mean, like, zombies, aliens, time-hopping Draculas? One second here. Mm. Ryan, right? Yeah. You want answers? I've got answers. Interrupt me again, you're on your own. <laughs> Whatever. Would it really be so crazy? With all the shit that we've been seeing with Nick? With the thing on the roof? Okay, it would really start to explain a lot of stuff. Dylan. I'm just trying to keep an open mind, okay? This is like your ghost stories. How is this so different from your ghost those, stories? Those are, those are just campfire stories. Like, there has to be a rational explanation for everything, for all of this. There's more to all this than you think. Just let me finish, and you can decide for yourself if you believe me or not. I don't care. But I think you should hear all of it. 